welcome to a new tutorial of Made by Sim. Today I'm going to show you how to make this a beautiful cow shawl. Look like that. Um, it has a width of um, 80 centimeters. I like my cow shawls to be big. I don't like them too tight around my neck. Mine is, oh, mine is even bigger than that. It is 84 centimeters, which is 33 inches. You can make yours as wide as you want. I prefer mine to be between, somewhere between uh, 78 centimeters. That is 30 and a half inches. And 80 centimeters, let me see, that is between, yeah, 31 and a half inch. So, that's how I like my cow. Um, mine is 28 centimeters wide, which is 11 inches. Now, like I said, you can make yours as big as you want, as wide as you want. Um, I used up a, a whole skein of Ice Yarns Dralon Acrylic Yarn, which was the Saver 200 grams, 330 meters. I'm going to show you the label right in a minute. Um, super, super soft yarn. It feels really comfy around your neck. So whenever you decide to use the same yarn, then please go down to the description box of this video where I'll provide a link that will bring you straight to the website of the supplier. Um, and if you use my link, you help me out quite a lot. Now, Ice Yarns is located in Turkey. Um, they do ship all over the world, and that is if you are... Um, uh, in your country, you can receive packages of, uh, from Turkey. Um, the express shipping is like really fast. It only takes about one to four business days. And usually that is one to two business days um, to get to my country. And they are located in Turkey, in the um, European part of Turkey. And um, I'm in the Netherlands, as you guys probably know. Um, so it is pretty fast if you order today and you receive it like tomorrow. There are no guarantees that you will receive it the next day, but it is a guarantee that you will receive it within four business days. Fantastic yarn. I'm absolutely in love with this brand and this yarn as well. I made many, many projects with this. Anyhow, I'm not going to uh, hold you back longer. Um, perfect for gifts. Um, really fun to make for yourself, family, friends, you know. Um, they're, they're just like great to make. Um, I made the Dutch version of this video quite a while ago. And um, I've been asked so many times to do these, this one in English. So I finally got the time to do so. It took me three to three and a half hours to make the complete cow. So if if you um, need a pretty fast to make a present for someone, then this might be the perfect project for you. Anyway, um, enjoy watching the video. Please give me that thumbs up if you like the video. And do not forget to subscribe for many many more uh, tutorials if you have a look right there at the bottom of the screen you see a little a red um, sort of a button you can click that and um, then you can um, subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't done so already anyway please please enjoy For this tutorial, I'm going to use the whole skein, and this is Saver. Uh, it's a 100% Drelon acrylic, 200 grams and 330 meters per bowl. And when you buy this at Ice Yarns, it comes in a pack of two. 
beautiful, beautiful yarn. They recommend to knit this with a five millimeters knitting needles, uh, and it's a medium worsted weight for yarn. Because I want Macau to be super fluffy, um, I decided to crochet this with a seven millimeter crochet hook. Um, going to use a pair of scissors and a darning needle to sew in all my ends. Now, if you like, you can also add, just grab it here, you can also add a little button um, just for the fun of it, just to um, make it look nicer if you want to. You don't have to, but you can do that. You can also add flowers or any anything that you like. All right, now we're going to start our project off with a slip knot on our hook, but we're leaving a little bit of a tail end so we can sew it in easier later on. And this is how I make my slip knot. Now, this pattern calls for a chain in multiples of two. Whenever you um, lose count, because for my original one I did 184 chain stitches. But if you lose a count, don't worry, make it work. Don't worry, it isn't that bad, okay? So don't frog your work then, just keep on going. And make it work. You won't. It won't even be not noticeable later on. Okay. So for this little swatch, I'm going to do a chain of 30. But like I said in the original one, the one that I already did, um, I made 184 chains because I like my cow to be really big. Okay. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, e, nine, and ten. I'm taking my hook out of the uh, chain and I'm placing it into the very first chain at the beginning of this chain string. There you go. And now I'm placing it the um loop back on my hook so now I'm sure that when I do my very last stitch my chain won't be twisted it's just a little trick to make things easier for you okay 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 2 3 Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and thirty. Okay. Now bring it back through the loop here. There you go. So now you have a circle, and the chain is definitely not twisted. First, we're starting off with a um, a single crochet into the same stitch as where we closed this round. Insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over and pull through two. Chain one. Skip one, so skip the next stitch, go into the stitch after that, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over and pull through two. That is called a extended single crochet stitch. Chain one. Go to the next. Skip. Insert your hook in the next. Grab your yarn. Yarn over. Pull through one. Yarn over. Pull through one. Yarn over and pull through two. A double extended single crochet stitch. Yarn over, pull through one, so a chain stitch. 
skip the next and go to the next stitch. Insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over and pull through one, yarn over and pull through two. So now we did the yarn over three times and the very last time we pulled through two. Chain one. And this is what we will be doing in the whole pattern. Skip one, grab your yarn, one, two, three, yarn over and pull through two. Chain one, skip one. Next, insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through yarn, one, yarn over and pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. Chain one, skip one, insert your hook, one, two, three, yarn over and pull through two. Chain one, skip one, chain one. And this is what you do till you are at the beginning of this round. And like this is a little swatch. Um, my ring here is a little, a lot, like a lot smaller. But um, for your cow, it should be bigger. Skip one, and then the next. The um, triple extended single crochet. Chain one. Now, actually, you should have one stitch left, but I did a stitch, a stitch um, extra, so um, I ended up in the very last stitch. Uh, and I intended to do that, but actually, you should have a stitch left. Now, uh, I just want to make sure that you can see that if you um, don't have a stitch left it is no problem at all we will be working in continu continuous rounds so therefore we started off with a single crochet and we worked up we worked the stitches up um, and now we can work in continuous rounds without closing each round insert your hook into the very first single crochet that you made and make a Make the same stitch like we did before, the triple extended single crochet stitch, and a chain one after that one. Now, for the next stitch, we this is the next stitch. Now, on this on the right side, if you're uh, right-handed, uh, on the right side of the stitch, you see the uh, bar of the yarn here. We will be working into this space, so the, the space between this bar and the stitch. Insert your hook and work your stitch right in there. Chain one. Next. Same space. Chain one. Next. Find that same space, here's the stitch, here's that vertical bar, work in there, or diagonal, how do you say that? In Dutch we say diagonal. <laughs> Sorry, my pronunciation is off <laughs> today. <laughs> okay, so working into the space between this bar here and the stitch here. And this is what we do for the whole cow. Now, you can um, work up as many rows as you want uh, for your cow. Um, I always decide when I do this pattern, because I love this pattern, I've made many, many, many cows for friends, family, myself, um, with this particular um, pattern. I'm going to use the 
whole skein. The whole skein. Okay. Um, I did... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 complete rounds. And then I decided that I wanted to um, frog some stitches. Um, that I wanted to um, use the whole skein. Right? Now. You can stop at the point where you start off your new round. You can see that because here is the beginning of the new round. But I didn't want to do that. So if you want to end the round, no matter if you are middle in, a, in the middle of a round or if you are at that point that you need to close off your round, um, if you're, if you're, uh. all right, I decided that I wanted to use all my yarn for this project. Um, I did 16 rows and then I continued working till I had this much yarn left. It's not a lot. This... Um, actually works the same if you have a few stitches left before the end of your round or if you stop just like me stop in the middle somewhere it doesn't really matter for this pattern and I didn't want to end up having a little scrap yarn a little bit of a scrap so therefore um, I'm going to use it up all up now next stitch so if you do this um, by completing a full round, then end up by three or four stitches before the end of the round. Insert your hook in the next stitch. Grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over and pull through one. Yarn over and pull through two. Chain one. Next. Insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, Pull through two. Chain one. Next. Insert your hook. Grab your yarn. Yarn over. Pull through one. Yarn over. Pull through two. Sorry, I did that wrong the last stitch. Insert your hook. Grab your yarn. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over. Chain one, go to the next, insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull through the stitch on your hook. Yarn over, pull through, one, cut your yarn or if it's your la the very last bit, pull through. And that's all there's to it. All you need to do now is sew in the yarn ends that you have. And if you uh, use the same yarn that I did, and you use up the whole 200 grams of yarn, then um, there you go. Then you should have two yarn ends. Right. Um, sewing in the ends on the back side of your work, that's what looks best. Just weaving underneath the stitches. And this is what my cowl looks like. It is a super, super soft, um, beautiful cowl that works up really fast. It only took me a couple of hours. I think about uh, three, three and a half hours to uh, make the whole cowl. And this is, this really is my favorite cow. Um, I made so many, so many of these. And they make the perfect gift for Christmas, um, Mother's Day, um, for your best friend, for your daughter, um, for, you know, everyone that you love and that you, uh, 
uh, want to give a little extra warmth through, during uh, the winter or fall uh, at least colder days beautiful beautiful cow um, if you're going to make the cow with the seam yarn that I use, the Seaver of Ice Yarns, then please go down to the description box of this video and uh, use my link. And you will help me out quite a lot if you do so. Um, now, another reason why to use this um, brand of yarn and this specific type is because this yarn is super soft. Dreadlock Acrylic is like the softest acrylic yarn that you've ever felt it feels really comfy around your neck and it doesn't itch at all um if you made yours then please uh, be sure that when you post a picture on your social social media that you um hashtag me you at me or you know just let me know that you made it and um, so i can see all the beautiful work that you guys did thank you so much for watching if you like the video then please give me that thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel for many many more um english tutorials and um thank you if you're going to make it please Please do not forget to enjoy. Bye for now.